The big sustainability issues for Irish business coming into Budget 23, obviously the key one is rising energy costs and businesses will need to assess the impact that those costs will have uh, on their bottom line coming into autumn and winter. Um, businesses large and small are going to have to do that and they'll need to figure out ways to mitigate the risk of rising energy costs by reducing energy wastage. But there's a longer term perspective as well, so in the short term, and hopefully this is a short term issue, um, energy costs and reducing wastage are important, but you can reduce wastage now, maybe in the longer term you should be thinking about investing more in energy efficient equipment for your factory or building. Uh, sustainability isn't just about energy and climate change, uh, we also see companies examining their supply chains to determine whether they can make assurances to shareholders and other stakeholders that they are adopting fair labour practices. And we see groups looking at their diversity and inclusion strategy to make sure that they're doing all they can to aid employee engagement post-COVID. In the budget, I think Irish businesses will be looking for uh, innovative use of tax policy to attract private investment into green and sustainable projects. In KPMG, we made a pre-budget submission to the Department of Finance, where we set out a number of the things that we would like to see appear in the budget. Um, one of the key themes in there was mobilising private capital to invest in green projects. For instance, we would love to see a measure of tax relief given to investors who invest in green bonds. This will make it more attractive for investors to lend money to companies to use in green and sustainable projects. Um, we would like to see enhancements to current tax relief, such as EII relief and CGT entrepreneur relief, which again will make it more attractive for people to invest in companies using these reliefs. Um, and then for individuals, there are tax reliefs and tax credits that we would like to see brought in, which will have a knock-on impact on businesses in the Irish economy. These include uh, a measure of income tax relief for people who refurbish their existing homes to increase the BER rating, or indeed uh, a reduced VAT rate applicable to solar panels for use in residential premises. In the longer term, sustainability is about achieving your current commercial aims without having an adverse impact on future generations. What I think Irish businesses are going to be grappling with over the next 12 to 18 months is whether they can stay the course on achieving the targets that they have set for themselves, whether they be emissions targets or waste and recycling targets or even diversity targets. Can they still stay the course and achieve those aims in the context of rising inflation and rising interest rates? There may come a time at which making the right choice now is going to cost them more money, but businesses need to assess their own performance and indeed the performance of their people using a longer term view. Thankfully, in the US, what we're seeing is that ESG funds are attracting a lot of capital, even though there is a threat of recession down the tracks, and because people are willing to invest in companies that have a longer term view and have a sustainable strategy, they view them as less volatile and they view them as more likely to generate returns in the future.